Okay, let's spend a little bit of time talking about geometric factors and the way to calculate uh, some of these different technical considerations for our images. So this first problem is asking us, at a 45 inch SID and a 10 inch OID, what is the SOD? And so this, to solve for SOD, we're gonna take, uh, this is gonna be equivalent to taking the SID and just subtracting out the object to image distance. So that source to image distance, source to object distance is the SID minus the uh, object to image distance. So in this case, we would just say 45 inches minus 10 inches equals uh, 35 inches. That's the final answer. Okay. Um, well, at a 15 inch SOID and a 25 inch SOD, what is the SID? Well, SID is going to be equal the um, source to object distance plus the object to image distance, right? So in this case, the source to object distance is 25 inches, the OID is 15 inches. And so when we add those together, we get 40 inches. This is a 40 inch SID, a very common SID. This next problem is asking us about how to solve for the OID or the OID, the object to image distance. And so uh, kind of extrapolating from these two, we can come to understand that that object to image distance is gonna equal, again, the SID minus what? The SOD, right? And so if we uh, plug this in to the numbers that we have, we've got a 70 inch uh, SID minus 65 inch source to object distance, and that gives us a, a OID, an object to image distance of five inches, okay? All these play a huge role in magnification, but it's helpful to review these calculations here um, because the problems don't always give us uh, what we need in order to solve for the magnification factor and things of that nature. So this next problem asks us, what is the magnification factor for a 50 inch SID and a 40 inch SOD? So they were nice to us at this point because they gave us what we needed, but magnification factor equals the SID over the sod is the way I remember it, SID over sod. Imagine a guy named SID sitting on a grassy place. And so I will uh, take uh, 50 inches divide that by 40 inches, the inches will cancel out and it's gonna give me a dimensionless factor of 1.25. So this uh, factor should always be greater than one. It'll never be a negative number, but it'll be greater than one um, because it is creating magnification. Um, and so that, that's one of the ways we have to test to make sure that we've worked the problem correctly is to make sure, will this actually cause magnification? Because if it, if it didn't, we've done something wrong. So what is the magnification factor for a 180 centimeter SID and a 25 centimeter um, OID? Now they didn't give us what we actually needed to solve this problem. We're gonna need to calculate the sod based on the OID that we've been given. And so we've gotta do a couple of different steps here. First, we're gonna calculate what the sod is. And so we take that SID of uh, 180 centimeters, subtract out that OID of 25 centimeters and that's going to give us 155 centimeters. That's the sod. And now we just plug that into our formula and we put uh, 180 over 155 and that will give us a 1.2 magnification factor. And so again, the centimeters just canceled out there to give us that dimensionless number of 1.2 magnification. On an x-ray taken at a 72 uh, inch SID, the pick line measures 1.2 millimeters in width. The pick line is approximately 65 inches from the focal spot. What is the actual catheter size? So in this instance, we're gonna need to calculate a magnification factor and then apply it to figure out the actual um, object size get based on the image size. So we'll, we'll need to do some division twice. Uh, the first set of division we'll do will be to calculate what the uh, magnification factor is. So, so 72 inches over 65 inches, and this will give us the magnification factor. Again, the inches cancel out to give us 1.1 magnification factor. And now we've got a 1.2 millimeter um, image size, and we're going to divide that by our magnification factor of 1.1. 
And it just turns out, in this case, to be 1.1 millimeter. Uh, I want to point out that was just a, a fluke. It, 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 these numbers aren't related. But the important thing is, is that the catheter is actually 1.1 millimeters in width, although it appears to be on the image 1.2 millimeters in width. Um, so an important consideration, especially for radiologists to make, is the degree to magnification that, that's, that's occurring. Now, we, we try to minimize that as much as possible by using appropriate technical parameters. The next problem says on an x-ray taken out of 40 inch SID, a kidney stone measures 3.25 millimeters in width. If the kidney is approximately two inches from the image receptor, what is the actual stone size? So asking is the exact same problem with some slightly different parameters. So um, first thing we're gonna want to do in, in working this problem is now solve for um, what the actual uh, sod is. So they've given us um, an oid, they've actually buried it in here, they've said it's the, that it's approximately two inches from the image receptor, so that's the oid. So we'll take the, uh, the SID of 40 inches, we're gonna subtract out that object to image distance, to, and that will give us 38 inches um, is our sod, right? And so again, we set this up, SID over sod, 40 inches over 38 inches, will give us our magnification factor of zero, I mean 1.05, right? So that's the first step. Now we need to, f to plug that magnification factor in to figure out what is the actual stone size. So we're, we've been given an image size here. Um, so we're gonna take that image size of 3.25 millimeters and we're gonna divide that by the magnification factor, right? And this will give us the actual um, object size. The stone is actually 3.1 millimeters. And with. Now, so it's not a, a major difference, but there is, a, there is a difference in the size of the actual stone versus the way it's represented on the image. Okay, this next problem is asking us about sharpness. And so we still need to know our, um, our SIDs and our SODs and stuff like that to calculate sharpness. And this is a mathematical thing that we can um, gauge uh, using some basic geometry. On sharpness or penumbra, it's gonna be equal to the focal spot times Void divided by sod, right? That gives us the actual um, geometric unsharpness of the image, which is, again, something that is mathematically measurable. As opposed to sharpness, sharpness is not mathematically me measurable. A lot of times we, we refer to it as relative sharpness or something like that, um, but we can measure unsharpness, so the area of penumbra. All right, so in this, in this problem here, we're gonna wanna take that uh, two millimeter, um, And I'll just go ahead and multiply it. Uh, that's the focal spot size, right? And uh, I've got three inch OID, right? Over um, 37 inch SOD. And so the inches will cancel out. This will give us a dimensionless number here. And when we multiply all this out, we're gonna be given a number in millimeters, 0.16 millimeters. And that's the actual degree of shadow around the image. Um, so that is the unsharpness of the image, the area of the penumbra. So how unsharp does the aorta appear um, on an image taken at a 72 inch SID using a, a 0.5 millimeter focal spot if the structures are roughly 68 Inch, inches from the x-ray tube. And so this is a really good question to ask. We, you'll notice that we've decreased the focal spot size and we've also increased the, the SID. And so this should improve the resolution. We should get a smaller number, um, in, 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 in other words, less unsharpness because of the decreased focal spot size and the increased SID. So the way we'll set this one up, um, again, using the same formula, there's a couple of different ways we can work this, but we'll say, uh, oh, and they, they didn't give us everything that we needed. They, they have a SID and they've given us a, uh, a SOD here. So we'll, we'll say 72 minus 68, and that gives us uh, four, right? So the actual uh, problem, sh as we should set it up here, is going to be um, 0 0.5, that's the focal spot size in millimeters, times um, four. Right, that's inches, and then we'll put that over 68 inches, and uh, 
those inches will cancel out and the end result is going to be 0 0.03 millimeters. Now you'll notice this is significantly smaller number than that other one, right? smaller by about half, and that means it has is a much sharper image. There's less unsharpness apparent on the image. Why? Because again we used a smaller focal spot size and a, a larger SID. Those are the ways to improve image sharpness. So how unsharp does an object appear on an image taken at a 180 uh, centimeter SID, which is roughly the same SID as this one up here, using a, a 0.3 millimeter focal spot size, so a smaller focal spot, and roughly one centimeter from the image receptor, so a decreased OID. So we would hope to see um, something yet again even smaller um, than this last one that we, that we saw for. Um, so we're expecting to see a smaller number. So uh, let's set this up, uh, one centimeters now, times 0 0.3, right? and that's just uh, using the image receptor distance here. Now well, they didn't give us the side, but we'll subtract um, a 180 minus one will give us the side, and it's 179 centimeters. And so the centimeters cancel out, all we're left with is millimeters. And when we uh, work this all out, we're going to get 0 0.016 millimeters. So again, even less unsharpness, so better sharpness using a, a much smaller focal spot size. So something that's generally used in, a, in like cardio cath and stuff like that. Uh, most of our x-ray tubes don't actually have focal spot sizes this small. But hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this, is cl this clarifies some questions about geometric uh, sharpness as well as uh, how to calculate for magnification. Thank you so much.